Hello YouTube. Well, we got into the greenhouse today. Um, we did have actually um, lettuce over winter. Uh, the white is just diatomaceous earth. Did a lot of shaking out in all the garden beds to mix into the soil. Obviously I didn't turn this over because it's, and this is food grade. So just a knock down the aphid problem and any other bugs and critters that might annoy me grubs and stuff dive to nemaceous earth uh it's basically easiest way to put it is it's microscopic crushed glass is the they're all tiny little squares they're made from the ancient prehistoric critter diatoms and we're all now caught up anyways uh we replenished the four tubs over here with some new soil and switched over soil and old soil and mixed it all back and forth and topped them up now a lot of this you guys if you look at earlier videos how i built these up cardboard in the bottom and uh, some manure and some heavier soil and then topped it up with soil i had and potting soil i like the miracle grow potting soil and i use it a lot in these in these type of raised beds in most of my greenhouse for the simple fact that they are basically just big pots now it's just kind of airy light soil it does compact and dry out um i wish i would have left one alone and i could have showed you right it's a little dark in here if i oh here's something so we'll get down to one of these lowers see this hasn't been touched it is crunchy as can be Ah, these are actually better than I thought. I did have like quite literally I could pull. Oh, that is a hard chunk there. But I could pull this whole chunk out. Uh, cuz it that potting soil is not designed to be dried right out. But what we ended up doing is I know some people are going to catch this cuz it's the wrong time to plant garlic. But in the grocery store about a month and a half ago, there was one of these uh, packages and it had one of those and all that. And the garlic we actually planted in this whole bed, I know it's the wrong time to plant garlic, but well, work with it. But I bought this for 99 cents and it was fuller than what you can see right now because it had all gone gone past due in the grocery store. So why the heck not? A little bit, it's not going to be any good to actual plant, but a lot of it that's in there all had little green sprouts on it. So we're going to leave it in there and let it grow. The brown stuff that you see on top is cinnamon. I am trying not to gag right now because I hate the smell of cinnamon disgusting but apparently cats hate it too and i have jerkwad cats that run into my greenhouse because it's the best place to lay during the day apparently but we did some garlic over there which we're going to leave and overwinter and let it get cycled into the right time to harvest garlic but that's what we could do we did some seed tape carrots in this one we quite literally just pulled the last carrots out of that one today and then we also planted in this one this is onions all planted into this one uh just uh they're lisbon onions so kind of like a green onion they're not bulb onions and then we're doing celery in this and the strawberries we're going to let take over this whole bed again we're going to try to encourage them to get over to this side this year and mix it up all this lovely soil see this is there's root base in there and everything else but that potting soil does dry out quite a bit but even as i get down into where i put the actual manure and stuff there's actually a lot of moisture down in there and all the you can make potting soil yourself like those little white bits are just perlite which keeps it airy but we did have uh, I pulled leeks out that overwintered 
<coughs> we pulled lettuce, we pulled potatoes out of here that overwintered. So we're doing some work on the greenhouse. We're just replenishing, getting some more soil in. And we're going to start doing a little bit more videos. And hopefully maybe tomorrow, guys, I can show you the bush that I was in, that I've been in, have access to to cut down lumber. Because we're going to try to get, get out there tomorrow. And I'll give you a shot as to how much work we've done in the woodshed and how much fuller it is and how much fuller it's it's never going to be as full as we've worked on getting it filled and i will be doing i'm going back to work for the regular job but i will hopefully be able to do a quick film at the chicken barn that i was doing just showing you how big these cages are <coughs> when i go out there this weekend to pick up some pallets and crates that from all this new equipment he bought that he's letting me take for both firewood and use of my own anyways guys thanks for watching and uh have a good night hopefully i can get this greenhouse uh, rocking a little more efficiently this year and uh we'll see how it goes wish me luck guys bye <laughs>